Ron's morning here in the shop. I'm uh, going to take a few minutes to run through this uh, setup I've got to to do the radius on the uh, on the tubes. Uh, very soon the shop back is going to start in here, and we won't hear anything. So, so I've got my rotary table set up roughly centered here for now. We'll dial it in in a bit. And what I've got planned to do is attach my mini pallet to it. And we'll center up on this pin that I've got put in the center. Let's see if I can pull this off real quick. So we've got a 5 8 pin centered in the rotary table. So we'll dial this one in concentric with the spindle, to which we'll add our roller tubes, clamp them down. We have a sacrificial plate in under so we don't damage our mini pallet. And, uh, We'll run our radius in here. Should work out okay. Okay, so the noise is about to start. It'll be silent video from here on out. This is what we wind up with. We'll do a bit of uh, deburring and a little sanding between the two cuts and uh, well, between these two cuts, and uh, then we'll run a slot across the top.
Okay, so is it only me that hates this part? So in doing our radius starting at zero on the top, uh, we wound up where the bearing will actually touch on the inside. So we're going to stick in our three quarter inch buffer again and uh, we'll center it up here and we'll do it by eye until we make a nice, a nice uh, radius in the end of it and that uh, should give us the clearance we need. As you can tell, I've already got it centered up there. And we're just going to do this by hand, I think. By eye. Just visually, it looks good. So we'll leave it at that. We'll do 300 on the other side, and we'll probably take a file and blend in both uh, both cuts and make it look smooth. So this is going to be pretty much final assembly. I haven't decided on finishing for them yet. In all likelihood in this shop is going to be a light patina of rust as, as a finishing coat because they're going to get put to use very shortly.
Well, I did make one change from the uh, from the plan. Uh, what I added a hole at the bottom just in case you leave it out in the rain and let the water at the bottom. At least then your bearings aren't sitting in a in a watery stew. So this is first fitting on this one. Uh, I left about 30 thousandths in play on these so they wouldn't be tight. But I may have got a small warp in this one now on welding. This first guy would be together absolutely perfect. So let's see if we can figure out what our problem is here and, uh, and uh, correct it. Check for burrs on our, uh, or not burrs, we check for little welding uh, BBs on our uh, end pieces. Seems free enough. I'm betting what our problem is is a small warp during the weld. It's a whole lot better. So we have left a little, uh, little burr up on the uh, oil hole. So there you have it. So if I had a piece of shaft in the oven, we'd do a little demo. So after all 
said and done. We gave the rollers a coat of black paint and uh, put them to use actually. We've used them a couple of times. Once doing a sawmill shaft and uh, the second time to do this quad axle and straighten it after welding. Uh, kit works out well. In the style of a famous YouTuber, we got her done. Well, welcome back to the shop, everyone. I'm uh, I'm not in the picture. Let's fix that.